Hi folks, 21st Century Caveman here. Um, I'm going to be lining the chinya breast in the living room um, this morning. Um, the chinya breast has been painted with multiple coats of paint over the years. It's quite a um, shiny, sort of slippery surface. Um, there isn't a lot of key on there at all. Um, so what I'm going to do, use the mouse um, just to scuff it up a bit really, just so that when I hang the wallpaper, when I hang the lining paper, sorry, um, it gives it the best opportunity to stick on there. I'll just show you. So as you can see, it's quite sort of, um, it's quite a smooth surface. There's multiple layers of paint on there, look. No point in skimming it over, no point at all. So, um, as I say, I just want to um, just scuff it up really, just to give it a bit more key. Because I know that um, the wallpaper that was on here, um, which I took off, which I removed, um, that came off very easily. And um, I'm going to have um, an electric fire down here. So I just want to make sure that, um, you know, the lining paper, which will be painted, will stay on there. Right, so I'm going to um, use these here, look, I cut these up this morning. Um, this is nice and coarse. It's a P40 grit. So that should scuff that surface up quite nicely. Get back to you in a moment. So um, as you can see, it's um, really sort of scuffed up the surface of that very nicely indeed. It's given it a good key. So I'm very hopeful that when I hang the lining paper, it's going to give it a pretty decent key because this surface was quite smooth, a little bit slippery. But now hopefully, having gone over it with the mouse, um, it will be a much better surface and give the, the lining paper much more of an opportunity to actually... Um, to um, adhere to the surface. It's taken quite a bit of paint look off as you can see. So there shouldn't be any big deal trying to get this off. A little screw here. A few spider webs. Right okay so um, the actual width of the Lining paper, sorry, I'm trying to hold this in one hand and uh, hold the other stuff in the other. So basically, what I, what I did, I measured the chimney breast, got the width of that. We know that um, the width of one of these um, rolls of lining paper is 520mm. So what I've done basically, just made sure that um, there's an equal distance towards either end. I've drawn a pencil mark down, down there. So when the, um, and that is completely plumb, let me just get a uh, spirit level just to show you. So if we weigh that a lot, let's just try and level that up a bit. Where are we? Yeah, okay, so look, you can see the bubbles bang in the middle where it's supposed to be. And that line going down there, look, is where I'm going to lay the first sheet of paper. Right, okay, so I'm going to put the lining paper up using this stuff here, Salvi Extra Strong. Okay, more than enough in there to, uh, for my needs, cost about three and a half quid. So there we go, look, it tells you what you need to know. Right, okay, folks, so uh, I've got the right amount of uh, water in there, so I'm just going to uh, start mixing the stuff in. I've got to mix it vigorously for 20 seconds and then leave it for 90 seconds and then give it a good old stir before you use it. So there we go, look. 
I hope everybody's counting. Okay folks, so we are back again. It's um, stiffened up considerably. So that's looking more like it now, isn't it? Okay. There we go, a lovely juggling. I mean, you can see that lot. That's uh that's looking good. And let's uh, give it a vigorous stir. Doesn't that look beautiful? So these then need to be left until um you know they uh the glue soaks in. So as I previously mentioned, I've got myself a, a nice line which I've penciled, which is completely perpendicular. All I've got to do basically, just make sure I get right up against that, and then we know this is going to be absolutely 100% plumb. Okay. Okay, just bring it underneath that picture out. corners if I can or thereabouts. So we've got it doesn't need to be perfect obviously but it's need to be get it as tight as possible. Nice straight cut. There we go, what could be easier? So we need to do pretty straightforward, just line up the edges, try not to tear it or pull off loads of glue. So that needs to go something like that. I want to come around the corners, um, there's enough at the top and at the bottom just to cater for the fact that um, the walls might be out a little bit and might skew the paper basically, that's what I'm trying to say, if indeed that makes any sense. Okay, so let's have a little look then. Obviously we don't overlap the paper. As I say, you know, I'm not a professional decorator, so uh, apparently you're supposed to leave a better mill gap between the two. Just nip it at the top here. So I can just pull it around there long. I'll do the same thing at the bottom. Try and find the angle. Let's try and push around the corner. Try 
try and get it nice and tight so I don't get loads of air bubbles trapped in there or anything. So I know these corners are slightly out, so obviously we'll put the next strip on down here. It's going to be a slight adjustment, but you won't notice anything major because um, because it's going to be in the corner here.